Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. With COVID-19 pandemic affecting all countries around the globe, we are experience, experiencing a historical moment in our lifetime, a very challenging moment. Being a small island developing country, heavily dependent on tourism, our economy has been very hard hit. It has affected our workforce and the business like never before. This nation is experiencing an all-time low in our GDP. Over the past six months, this crisis has shown that most vulnerable people have been severely impacted. Young people who are the bedrock of the workforce in this nation. Women, migrant workers and freelancers. I am deeply thankful for the determination shown by all employees during these difficult times. The report provides comprehensive findings on the impact of COVID-19 on the economy and the tourism sector. It is good to see that the assessment has taken a very holistic approach at, at the impacts on the tourism industry covering a range of businesses that make up the tourism value chain, including resorts, guest houses, safari vessels, dive, water sports providers, freelance artists and musicians, surf guides, community vendors, and everybody else who is involved in the tourism products, products and services. When we talk about tourism, it is important that we factor in the role of individuals and businesses on different scales. And we try to understand the impact of the crisis from the point of view of all these groups. I think the report achieves this quite well. Building on the findings of this report, we are determined to convert the key vulnerables vulnerabilities of the Maldives that was exposed by the COVID-19 crisis into key opportunities. That will help us transform our economy and generate long-term benefits for the people and the environment. The strategic action plan launched by His Excellency President Ibrahim Ahmed Saleh's administration, the Maldives has embarked on initiatives to diversify the tourism product. This is to ensure our position in the international tourism industry and also to strengthen the tourism product. The key aspects of diversification to continue further develop and promote local tourism industry of the Maldives in accordance with the government pledge is of utmost importance. While enhancing the priority place to pursue ecotourism for promoting sustainable management of protected areas, and the important aspect is to promote sports tourism, making the Maldives an attractive destination for sports events especially uh, sea sports. Definitely, uh, guest house sector is an area that we really to, uh, wish to see future developments. There are several uncertainties as to how the future events will unfold. However, we are going to move forward by capitalizing on the natural assets, human capital, investments, development progress, and technological adva advancements we already have. While the path ahead is not going to be easy, we recognize that this is an opportunity moment to reskill and upskill employees and the support new entrants to the job market. The government is committed to scale up higher education and skill development opportunities targeting young women and men as we work closely with Ministry of Higher Education and Ministry of Economic Development on facilitating training opportunities for the workforce. We need to shift away from business as usual and move forward towards an inclusive and sustainable tourism industry. I call upon the tourism industry to work with the government towards a new era of, of tourism. I take to heart some of the medium to long term recommendations of this report. While these initiatives may take time, it's good to see some of these fresh ideas being put forward. For recovery of tourism, we will work on a coordinated strategy, strategy in collaboration with industry stakeholders. Environmental sustainability is critical for the tourism industry to thrive. We need greener investments in the industry. We want to see more jobs and entrepreneurship created from mainstreaming sustainability standards in the tourism industry. Before I conclude, I would like to emphasize that the ministry is open to partnership with all industry partners in moving forward, including those associations that represent key industry segments. And of course, we look forward to strengthening our engagement with development agencies, especially the UN in Maldives. We definitely have a lot of work ahead of us, but we want to see these positive changes. Once again, 
I thank you for inviting me and thank you for producing this report. Thank you.